So, as you saw, we handed out juice boxes. Um, but there is a few uh, improvements that those juice boxes need. Um, clearly, high C has a problem with uh, spilling. Right here it says, won't stain. So, <laughs> clearly, they need some improvements to their juice boxes. And we have the solution, my main squeeze. I'm Ross Owens, and this is Cassidy Patterson. And we are the co-founders of My Main Squeeze. Okay, My Main Squeeze is a product that will keep spills from happening. If you have toddlers running around or anything, you know that it happens a lot. And it also has a no-leak straw and a straw hugger to keep it all in place and inside of the box. My main squeeze is a juice box with major upgrades. We have the straw hooker, which is inserted right under the hole where the straw is entered. We have the no leak straw featured here, which when you squeeze, it juice is unable to come out, but when you suck, the vents open up and juice is able to flow out. Um, when you squeeze the juice box, it's unable to come through, out through the hole also due to the fact that the straw and the hugger are so tightly uh, binded on the hole. The big C's, competition and cost. So um, we have done some research and the average juice box has cost around 20 cents a piece. And so with the improvements, it would cost around 26 cents. Obviously, this is not a for sure price of how much it'll cost. It just really depends once we actually get with a company. Um, we won't be selling directly to consumers. We would be selling to a company. And um, it would cost a little more, but with the improvements, it would also be worth it. Um, the competition that we have is the last straw and juice in the box. The last straw is actually a little piece that you would stick on the end of the straw. And then juice in the box, you actually have to pour the juice into a separate container. So no mother would have the time or concern to want to worry about where these products are and if they have them with them. So with the upgrades on our juice box, you would just hand them the juice box itself and not have to worry about any of that. As she said, what's unique about us is we are not selling to consumers. We are selling to the big businesses. Features here, High C, Minute Maid, Juicy Juice, Mott's. We're selling for actually a low price of $750,000. The idea to the business, we will not be manufacturing any juice boxes. We're just selling the idea to the companies. Um, the $750,000 is not a lot of money for a big company like that to buy an idea that will make this much improvement. And after only, if we sell to three companies, we would make <coughs> over $2 million in revenue so that would be huge for the business, but once one of these companies see that like High C buys our product, they'll see the happiness of the consumers and the customers that they have, and Minute Maid will try to join on, and they'll want to also buy our product. So with social media, what we want to accomplish is we want it to go viral. We want our friends and family and everyone to know about it, and we want the companies to hear about it through their consumers. We want them to then reach out to us and say that they would like to purchase our product. Judges, do you have any questions? Stand by. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have a lot. <laughs> I heard that. All right. So no. See, um, let me get this right. So you guys are basically essentially selling the big companies the idea. The idea. Yes. Okay. Uh, where are you guys gonna get the parts from? Because obviously you're gonna have to have your juice boxes made, your straw, all that stuff will have to be patented, right? Yes. Okay. Because I mean, if I see the same straws, you guys. I saw you guys had a picture of it. So if I were to use those same straws, I could essentially cut you guys out. Yes. Okay. So the straw exists. So yes. Yes. So what are you guys doing? We're using <laughs> their straw in our uh, hugger that we came up with, just a black rubber uh, like tube basically, 
that fits tightly into the straw <coughs> together. So you're producing just the fabric? Yes. Like those two yes. boxes? Kind of yes, on the inside. Under the and the straw would also just come with the end on it. You wouldn't have to carry it around with you. It would just be a disposable, like you would just use it once and then throw it away, and all of them would have that on them. So are you thinking about patenting your the proprietary piece to this is the gasket, the hugger piece, right? Yes. That's yes. the proprietary yes. piece. Yes. To keep others, Minute Maid, whoever, from stealing your idea, you will patent that piece. Yes. Is that correct? Do you see the risk of uh, do you see the risk of somebody like whoever owns High C buying you completely? Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like Tetra Pak, what's the first stop them from cutting you guys out? We would sell to the one company, and other companies would catch on and see this. And since we have it patented, they would have to buy our design, and they can't. I mean, can't really steal like. I mean, yeah, I guess you could try to come up with their own mechanism of how it would work. But we, if we had a patent, they would have to buy our product. They can't. Or buy you and put you on a beach at, at uh, you know, 19 or 20. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the only way you guys would advertise is through social media? Um, well, social media, and then after our first sale, the customers will. Like, they'll be able to talk and like everybody's going to want this product and everybody's going to see that, wow, we, like, why would I buy this if it's going to ruin our kids' yeah, clothing? Yeah, because once we sell it, not only will we have social media and supporters, but the other businesses will also be promoting their own product that they would now have. Okay. My thing with, with uh, the marketing aspect of it, you guys are basically relying on a first sale and then networking based off of that, correct? Yes. All right, how are you going to get that first sale though? I know big companies probably look around on, on Facebook, but would you <coughs> actually go there and show them a prototype and actually show them how it works? Yeah, we would, we would probably have to contact them first. They probably wouldn't see our, our little website. I, I'm just making <laughs> sure, like I say, you, you rely on Facebook, you may be sitting there for a while. Yeah, yeah, we would definitely have to contact them first, and then they would hopefully get interested in if we get one company to, to buy it, then why wouldn't it take off? And another also piece of that, would you actually partner with High C or the people that actually made the juice box? Probably High C. Why would you choose the juice company and not the people that make the boxes? Because the juice company is like, they need to put something, like they're obviously putting the juice in the box. And so if they buy ours, then they would no longer use the other company. Like they would have, like they would basically manufacture their own boxes, our product, and they would, like Tetra Pak or whatever, would no longer. I'm just using that because that's who's currently sitting in front yeah. of me. Um, but, <laughs> but he brings up a good idea. Well, what if Tetra Pak, you know, saw this? Would you guys be open to just selling your ideas straight to them and that's it? Walk yeah. away? If we didn't have much more. If, if it was a high enough offer, yes. I mean, I would take five million in a row. What's up? Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Um, so, do you. It, and, I, and I guess I'm not real sure. Is your is your little gasket that you put up, it's, and that's just the gasket you, that you're providing? Is that correct for a straw, or is there a straw out there that High C has that you're trying to make that gasket far, or is there a straw company that sells to High C? Do you know that? It is a straw company out there that High C does not have. So the straw company I've actually read about, they're kind of family because the businesses aren't buying their product. I see. Probably due to the fact that it's not complete. Like, it can still come out, like, right. if you just squeeze it, it would come right out the hole. I mean, it, yeah, it wouldn't come out the straw, but 
the hole also spills. How much does that straw cost? Uh, you know, it didn't have like, because they weren't really selling the individual straw. I think they were also just kind of trying to buy it, find a business to get their yeah, product. Sense. Yeah, they weren't selling the individual, because like, they were plastic straws. So I'm not sure if they were actually selling the individual straws. It wasn't like too unreasonable. Like you can you could list it for more because two million to high C might not be a huge number, but so seven hundred fifty thousand was a good number for us to still be successful. But it wasn't too pricey for the business to say no, it's not about that. Now, just uh, going against your competition, how much is this for me? How much does it take? Um, as we said, the box, the straw, and everything, we found about 20 cents a box, and then they're selling the packages for about two twenty-five.